Hello, and welcome to Art with Mrs. Torres. This week, in honor of Mother's Day, we're going to be celebrating the giant panda. Now, in my opinion, I think the panda bear should win the Mother of the Year Award. Let me tell you why. Did you know that the mama panda bear raises her young all by herself? No help from dad. None. So, in honor of Mother's Day, I'm going to be celebrating the giant panda, and I bet you'll want to, too. For today's lesson, you only need a piece of paper. You can even use the paper that comes out of your printer. You're going to need that, a pencil, a Sharpie marker, and some crayons. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's get ready to draw our giant panda. Well, let's get ready to draw our beautiful mama panda bear with her baby in honor of Mother's Day. So for today, you're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need a box of crayons. You're going to need a sharp marker, a pencil, and an eraser. If you haven't gotten these items yet, go gather them up and then meet me back here when you're ready. Well, I'm ready, are you? Let's get ready to draw our mama panda bear. So let me show you a photograph of a mama panda bear holding her cub. Isn't that a cute picture? This picture inspired me to draw our picture today. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is finding the center of our paper, just like we always do every time you come to my art class. We're gonna be using a pencil. So I'm gonna find the center with my finger and make a little dot. Now, if you look at my drawing, you can figure out where that dot was in the middle of my paper, right where my mama panda bear's nose is. So when we get ready to draw our panda bear, that's going to help us draw her face. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing around this dot is drawing a big circle. This is going to be our panda bear's muzzle. The muzzle is this part of our panda bear, the round part where our panda bear's nose is. So we're going to take and make a circle. And then once we make that circle around that dot, we can erase the dot. We don't need it anymore. Now that we've made that dot, we're going to go in and we're going to start to draw the panda bear's nose. So we're going to make the letter V toward here, toward the bottom. So we're gonna go like this and make a really fat letter V. We're gonna round it on the sides and close it off at the bottom. Now, once we've drawn our panda bear's nose, we're gonna draw a short line right here. And then we're gonna round the sides to make her smile a little bit more. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna draw a big round curve, kind of like the letter C. We're gonna do this on this side too. These are the patches of black fur that the panda bear has around her eyes. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna make this part a little skinnier. So I'm just gonna go like this and make that line a little skinnier, not so fat. And I'm gonna do it on this side too. Now, in here, I'm gonna erase with my magic rub, or you can use the end of your pencil. And we're gonna draw two happy eyes. So I'm gonna come right here, right next to this line. And I'm gonna draw a big happy eye and I'm gonna match it on the side, a big happy eye. Now, since this is a mama panda bear, we're gonna give that mama panda bear a few eyelashes on the side. Now, later when we get to our marker, we're gonna make this fuzzy, but we're keeping it simple right now. Now, we're gonna come up here farther away from the top of the muzzle. So this is the muzzle, but now we're gonna make the top of our panda bear's head. So I want you to look at how high the forehead is on the panda, this part right up here. So right above her eye patches, there is a big space before we get to the top of her head. So I'm gonna come way up here and make the top of her head. And then I'm gonna give her some big fluffy cheeks that go way past her eye patches. almost like we're drawing a big balloon around her head. 
And then we're going to bring it right underneath her muzzle. This is going to be her chin. Now she's going to have two round ears up at the top. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to make one round ear, kind of like I'm making the letter C. And I'm going to draw another one on this side, like a backward C. Now make sure your ears are about the same size. And then we're going to draw her chin. So underneath this section here, I'm just going to draw a smile that goes from side to side. And look at how cute. She already looks cute and she doesn't even have her baby yet. Now we're going to draw her baby. Her baby is tucked inside her arm. She's hugging her baby. And her baby's got a round head, two black ears, just like the mama, the same shaped nose and the same little smile. So very similar, just a smaller version. So I'm going to come under here, under her chin. And I'm going to draw this time a little bit smaller circle. Now I'm going to kind of overlap the baby's head a little bit over the mama's chin, kind of like they're snuggling up. So I'm going to draw a circle here. And then I'm going to erase this part of the mama's chin out of the baby's head. I'm going to give the baby two smaller ears. They're smaller than the mama's ears, but they're still round. And this one's going to go in front of the mama's chin. And then I'm going to erase everything inside the ear. So now the baby is in front of the mama. Now I'm going to give the baby a muzzle, just like what we did with the mama. So I'm going to draw a big circle down here at the bottom of the face, down low, about halfway down the circle. I'm going to make a big circle all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to skip a big space and I'm going to draw the letter V, just like we did before. And I'm going to make it round on the top. I'm going to draw a short line down, just like we did for the mama. I'm going to make a curvy smile on this side and a curvy smile on this side that goes all the way to the edge of the muzzle. I'm going to get my eraser and erase all these extra pencil lines so I'm not confused when it's time to use my marker. Now I'm going to draw the chin for the baby underneath. And it's time to make those eye patches just like we did for the mama bear. So I'm gonna come over here to the side of the muzzle and I'm gonna make a big curve all the way around and back like I'm making the letter C. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna curve it up, around and back like a backward C. And then I'm gonna make the baby's eyes close just like the mama. You can give the baby eyelashes if you'd like to. Now the final part of our drawing is to give our mama bear big arms to hug her baby. So we're going to come over here to the side and we're going to give her some big shoulders. She's a big bear. Did you know that mama panda bears can weigh almost 200 pounds, sometimes even more than 200 pounds? And when the baby bears are born, they are so small, they're almost the size of a stick of butter. Very tiny. So let's give our mama bear some big arms that are coming around to hug her baby. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to make a big curve that comes up right almost to the center of my paper and comes down. And then I'm gonna come right here, right where this curve is. I'm gonna make another curve going the other way up and over and back. So these are the mama's arms and the baby is hidden behind the mama's arms. So right here, you might have a little part of the baby's face showing that you have to erase. Now a baby panda bear is called a cub. Oh my goodness, look at how cute that is. Now, the only other thing we need to do is we need to add a little hairy line, a little fuzzy line right here to separate 
the white fur from the black fur. So as you can see, the panda bear has a white head and black shoulders and arms and black ears. So we're going to come up here and we're going to give our panda bear a furry scribbly line like this. And I'm going to match it on this side too. All right, I think we are ready. I'm so excited. We're going to get ready now to use our Chubby marker. So I'm going to put my pencil aside. I'm going to get Mr. Chubby. I call this marker Mr. Chubby because he's got a chubby tip. I'm going to put that cap on the end and we're going to get ready to trace over our lines. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the picture of my panda bear and you can see that our panda bear has some fuzzy fur. So can you see that? It's furry. So I'm going to come up here to the top of the panda bear's head and I'm going to give her a little bit of fuzz coming up at the top. And then I'm going to go all the way around the face and stop. Boink! right when I get to the ear of the baby. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now don't worry if your panda bear's face is chubbier than my face, that is absolutely fine. Then I'm gonna go around the ears and make those fuzzy. And you can make them smooth if that's easier for you. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of fur, just taking my marker and going like this inside my panda bear's ears. Now we're not going to color it in. We're going to wait and do that with our crayon, but right now I'm just adding some fur. I'm just kind of taking my marker and going real fast like this and just adding some fur inside the ears. And next we're going to start to trace the panda bear's muzzle. So right up here at the top of the muzzle, I'm going to make it fuzzy, just like I did the top of my panda bear's head. And instead of making this a straight, smooth line, I'm gonna make it fuzzy now. I'm just gonna go like this with my marker. And I'm gonna bring that fuzzy line all the way around to the center right here where that short little line is. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side to the center. I'm gonna draw that straight line up. And now we're gonna trace around that little shape on the nose. I'm going to give my panda bear a little rainbow nostril right here and a little rainbow nostril right here. And then I'm going to trace the chin. Now, hardly any of my panda bear's chin is showing because she is being covered up by her baby. She's hugging her baby. Now let's come up and we're going to trace around the eye patches. Now you can do this smooth or you can make them fuzzy. Look at how long that fur is. I'm going to be making mine furry. Next, we're going to trace over the eyes of our mama panda bear. And I'm going to give my mama panda bear a little bit of eyelashes right on the side. When I'm finished, I'm going to go right over here to the shoulders. Now my mama panda bear is so big, her shoulders are going all the way off the edge of the paper. You can see in this photograph, her shoulders going off the edge of the paper, but it is okay if you didn't make it go off the edge of the paper, because right here it isn't. So it's up to you, however you drew it. I'm gonna trace around her big hands and arms that are hugging her little baby. I'm gonna trace around the fuzzy part of her neck. And my final part to trace is, of course, my sweet little fuzzy baby, just like a little ball of white and black fur. Did you know that when a baby panda bear is born, they are so tiny, as I mentioned, they're about the size of a stick of butter, but they don't have fur. When they're born, they're almost bald and they're pink. And then little by little, as they get older and older, their ears and their eye patches start to form black fur. And the rest of their body is white, except for their arms and their legs. And pretty soon they start to match their mommy and their daddy. Now the daddy doesn't help raise the 
the babies, only the mama stays and raises her babies. The daddy kind of does his own thing. So that's why I thought it would be kind of fun to honor the panda bear for Mother's Day. Now, as you're done tracing over all of the parts of your bear, just like I traced mine, you can add a little bit of fur inside the panda bear's ears, just like we did before. But later, we're gonna add more with our crayon. Now I'm gonna make a little kind of harder, darker line right in the inside of the panda bear's ears here. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just kind of make a little scribble scrabble inside the ear. All right, now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get my eraser. Now I'm using a magic rub eraser, but you might have only just the eraser on the end of your pencil. And what I'd like you to do is very carefully hold your paper by holding your hand like this and erasing inside this little section. I call this the duck's mouth. If you've ever done any of my lessons before, you know that when we're erasing, I say that this looks like a duck saying quack, 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 and you erase inside the duck's mouth. That way your paper doesn't wrinkle. You're going to go in and erase all of your pencil lines. When you're all finished, you're going to brush all of your eraser crumbs off of your paper. So you go ahead and erase. I'm going to erase my picture and then meet me back here when you're ready to use our crayons. Okay, I've got my crayons ready and I'm going to start by uh, taking my gray crayon. Do you have a gray crayon in your box? If you don't, that's okay. You can use your black crayon as long as you color softly. I'm going to be using a gray crayon. I'm going to be adding some shading or shadows. So the first place I'm going to put a little shadow with my gray. And if you don't have gray, look, you can also do it with black, but color very softly. I'm going to add a little shading right here. You can see there's a little shadow at the top of the muzzle. I'm not coloring hard. I'm just kind of tickling the paper. Next, you can see that there's a shadow around the side of our panda's face. So I'm going to take my crayon and very softly, I'm going to scribble a little gray, not a lot, just a little, around the side of my panda's face. Now, if you're using the black, you want to do it very softly. Next, I'm going to take my gray and I'm going to color a little shadow under and around the nose just like in my photograph here. And there's a little shadow underneath where the muzzle is. Another place I see a shadow is here underneath the neck. So I'm gonna add some shading on the white part of the neck. I'm gonna match what I did on the mama on the baby. So here at the top between the eye patches, around the head where the white fur is, around the nose, underneath the muzzle, underneath the chin, just like I did here, around the side of the muzzle, nice and light. And when you're all done with your gray, it's time to use our black. Now we're not gonna color very hard with our black. We're actually gonna color a little bit softer. So we're gonna come up here to the ear and we're gonna just scribble some black very lightly into the ear. We wanna still be able to see our Sharpie marker line underneath the crayon. So we're not gonna color really hard. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Try to color in the same direction so the ears look really fuzzy. You can even make your crayon go a little bit outside of your Sharpie line and that's gonna make your panda bear look even more fuzzy. Now the next thing that we're gonna color are the eye patches and I'm gonna do it very softly. Once again, I don't wanna color hard because I don't wanna cover up those pretty eyes and eyelashes on the mama panda bear. Now panda bears live in China. That is really where their natural habitat is. And they spend most of their day eating bamboo. 
So bamboo is the leaves that grow on these long skinny stalks. This is pretty much all the panda bear eats. 99% of what a panda bear eats is that bamboo. Sometimes they might eat a little bug here or there, or maybe a little fruit, but most of the time they eat bamboo. I'm gonna color the nose of the panda bear with my crayon and I'm not coloring hard. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker inside his nostril, her nostrils. I'm gonna then go down and color the ears on the baby. Now a panda bear eats so much bamboo because the panda spends most of her time eating bamboo and cleaning the bamboo and stripping the bamboo so she can eat it because it grows on that hard, heavy stalk. She pulls the little leaves off or sometimes she eats the leaves and then she sleeps. She's so tired after eating that she takes a two or three hour nap and she eats most of the day. So every time she eats, then she gets tired and she lays down and she takes a nap and she sleeps right up in the tree. Now the mama bear is the only one that takes care of the baby. She is a good mama carrier and she takes very good care of the baby. She carries the young with her. She'll hold them carefully in her paws, but she's so big compared to the baby you would that she would smush the baby, right? But she is very gentle with her babies. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna to start to color the shoulders of the mama. And I left that little space up here for her white chest. Now, if you colored over it already, that's okay. So I'm gonna make her shoulders nice and fuzzy. And then I'm gonna color her paws really fuzzy. So this time I'm gonna color this direction because you see how long that section is? It's faster to color this way. Now the panda bear used to be considered endangered. Endangered means there are hardly any panda bears left in the world. There was only about a thousand panda bears that they could find out in the wild. And then luckily there are a few more panda bears now. They've almost doubled in size, which is good news, but they are still considered threatened. Now threatened means that there's not a lot of them in the wild, but there are more than there used to be. And that's good. That's good news. A part of the reason that there aren't a lot of panda bears is because there is not as many forests of bamboo trees anymore because people are building houses and communities and they're cutting down the, the bamboo plants. So there are organizations that protect the panda bears and make sure that those forests are protected. And isn't that wonderful that people are doing that and they're taking care of the panda bears and making sure that they have a beautiful forest to live in so they can live in the trees. Now, when you're all finished coloring your panda bear, mama and baby, the final part is to put some green in the background so it kind of looks like bamboo. So I have two different colors of green today that I'm going to use. And I'm also going to use a little brown because as you can see, there's some brown on the stalks of the bamboo too. So I'm going to start with some brown and I'm just going to very softly draw or scribble some straight up and down lines. Now the lines that I'm drawing are called vertical lines. I'm going up and down, up and down. And I'm going to draw those all the way around the panda bear, all the way up to the top of the paper. And I'm drawing very softly. When I'm finished with my brown, I'm going to choose green. Now, I'm going to work with a light green first. Now, if you don't have a light green, yellow would work great too. You could also use yellow. So I'm going to use my lime green, my kind of yellow green color. But if you don't have that in your crayon box, just grab yellow. It'll do the same thing. When you're all finished with your lime green, then you can go with a darker green. So now I have a little bit darker green and I'm gonna go in and add this color next. I'm 
Well, I hope that you had fun learning about the giant panda today and celebrating Mother's Day with our mama bear and our baby bear. I would love you to send me a picture of your drawing. You can send it to rtorres at lcusd.net. I'll see you for our next lesson. Have a wonderful day.